Hi everybody and welcome to Richards Motor Sales RV Center. I'm Steve and today we've got another Keystone RV Sprinter new arrival fifth wheel that came in this morning. It's a 358 BHS two bedroom quad slide that is a new and fun and exciting floor plan to show you. For starters outside we have an exterior camp kitchen built of course into the awning or door side of the unit with a range hook up LED lights, a three cubic foot refrigerator and storage, as well as an exterior bumper mounted gas grill that swings around and, and joins the outside camp kitchen. Our Sprinter awning is push button one touch power with integrated LED lights as well as camp speakers built into the awning arms, which is a great feature. They point back towards our campsite instead of the neighbors. Our basement underneath is good sized, lighted, and enclosed, and has a Sprinter made easy, camping made easy package, uh, outside resin camping table with it that's self storing and stores up underneath. I've got it down so you can see it. And there's our 15 foot outside utility hose. This unit does have push button, one touch, Lippert, four point auto leveling system which is a fantastic feature at this size and price point as well as Lippert's correct track suspension alignment system we have 16 inch tires the new aluminum tread steps entry assist handle I want to show you the inside highlights first let's go up into the front master and we have a 60 by 80 residential queen size bed with um, windows on both sides of this master suite which is great uh, we're in a hundred inch wide body so the eight foot of interior width storage is in the nose is all wardrobe hangable shelf shoe spot as well as two lower lower drawers we have a ton of storage in this at the foot of the bed we have a bank of five drawers with a um, countertop it's a dresser and here's a spot for our third or fourth television if we want to have one up here we ordered this unit with a 13,500 BTU secondary uh, bedroom AC unit uh, 15,000 BTU is in tied into the ducting in this unit and um, the secondary air we have 50 amp service here in the unit is uh, is up in the bedroom of course here's the master bath we have a fiberglass um, molded garden shower with a seat in the back uh, with glass enclosure doors and a nice size oversized vanity sink medicine cabinet the LED lights show up great up here and uh, a big two-door linen closet as well as a china porcelain foot pedal flush uh, upgraded toilet down the stairs uh, we have courtesy lights in this unit so they'll light our path to the bathroom or down the stairs in the night without turning the overheads on and off um, a great feature that uses real low amperage our command center uh, for our systems monitor and slide switches and so on is located inside the entry door here we have a 12 gallon gas electric uh, auto ignition water heater on this unit big family size bath and a half fifth wheel I'll show you the bonus bathroom here in just a minute uh, trifold memory foam height of bed sofa if we ever need it you'll see the back bedroom has sleeping for a bunch um, our 100 inch wide body is coupled with 42 inch extra deep slide boxes and uh, because of that we end up with an oversized 48 inch booth dinette that has got to be among the industry's largest um, in a conventional design dinette anyways it's fantastic seating for six they advertise it as um, unless of course you're my size just kidding um, here's our entertainment center and it comes with an LED TV so it's really nice upgraded 40 inch and if you look closely it's tied in with the sound bar down below for improved sound it's got great sound clarity 
and uh, the overheads are done somewhat decorative like the cabinetry and glass inserts in this make it look really nice as opposed to just a bank of um, of flat cabinets that we might normally have so we're in a mid kitchen but it's a big mid kitchen it's got a peninsula sink with a composite sink and a high-rise nickel um, faucet with a pull-out sprayer and it's a 70-30 split very deep um, stainless steel appliances are carried out above and below with the range hood and the microwave and following that peninsula out um, above it is is this uh, four-door big shelf unit so you can reach it from this side and the far side as well we have an eight cubic foot gas electric Dometic refrigerator with stainless fronts and we've got some ceiling height in here so this is a unit in the mid kitchen that might uh, require in a good way a folding step stool to access stuff you don't use as often and the beauty of that is they've made use of this space all the way to the top um, so um, it's a great use of space in that regard and here's our big pantry very deep located to the right of the fridge of course the new 2016 and three-quarter sprinters have um, included a 12 inch max air vent fan an attic fan that is assigned a wall thermostat that goes along with it uh, fan speed and so on because you could never reach that from here and among the other changes are um, a skylight in every unit as well so it's very nice natural light in the uh, in the great room here downstairs pots and pans drawer 22 inch full extension drawer guides are, are uh, metal so they're very high quality and real heavy duty and now the kids room this is the fun part we have opposing slides in this and their own 32 inch LED TV is built in on a 12 inch swing arm split windows in the back just like a rear entertainment would be so it feels less closed in we've got vented vented um, UV tinted windows here a lot of storage um, and on the door or awning side we have uh, an overhead bunk with a small integrated ladder and then the lower bunk folds up or down whether we need sleeping for five or not because um, this is a little bit more than a quad across from it on the off door side we have an overhead bunk that also will fold up and out of the way if we want it to but it's actually high enough um, that you can sit under it pretty tall people could actually sit under this one and um, not have to necessarily raise it up but we have a three seat sofa with storage drawers down below it which is a great use of space for kids toys and games and video things and organizing and then this is a rollover back sofa if you've never seen these it's not a jackknife the back and i know we don't have a big production company so i'm at so i apologize about moving the camera around but uh, when the back rolls over this is a lot larger than a uh, conventional jackknife sofa would be so this is certainly two um, two kids and one on top of both sides makes a quad and then the bonus fifth sleeper is is this uh, fold down which comes with its own mattress here's the half bath for the kids and it's very functional um, it's got uh, a, a second uh, china foot pedal flush toilet and a nice vanity there are outlets in here some storage and an overhead cabinet we do have a ceiling fan integrated in and wall switches to run both that and the overhead lights so very nice we have ducted air and ducted heat back in the kids room because we have um, real doors that will shut this room off so rainy day long weekend a week-long camping trip somewhere the kids have their own room to go and decompress a little and uh, it's about as far removed from the master bedroom as you can get in a unit this is 39 feet 9 inches long and weighs 12,145 pounds so it's a big unit with four slides very nice family oriented two bedroom quad slide remember we've got one touch auto leveling in this unit 
two LED TVs, an extra large 12 gallon water heater, a uh, heated and closed Arctic package with R28 and a very impressive R30 top and bottom. Remembering that a regular conventionally built travel trailer is R7. That's a little over four times the insulation for hot or cold weather benefit. Fantastic Arctic package on this unit. And um, outside camp kitchen is done very well. So we have our family, we have the kids, we have an oversized fridge outside. We have two ways to cook outside. We have a power patio awning and we have speakers with the Detroit Tiger game on. And uh, here we are in December just wishing. Uh, but, and I didn't mention, I apologize, the 5000 BTU fireplace that comes standard in this unit is just a nice fit. And um, folks that purchase these, um, our hope is that they will use these in uh, March, April, as well as September, October, early November, and extend their season. And this is a great way to do it. It's a supplemental heater that'll use campground electric and really is adequate to heat the great room here and then some without using our LP gas and our Arctic package again has great hot weather benefit in July I really think the air conditioner works less hard and that kind of uh, insulation is fantastic so a lot of times it's the stuff you don't see uh, that makes a great unit and this is um, Keystone's original first this is our 20th year since it came out in 1996 the Keystone Sprinter was the first model ever made by Keystone and uh, we're proud to have them on our lot so thanks so much there's about where it sells uh, 40 grand range and um, there's a few of the highlights as well so thanks so much for your time and uh, stop by and see us anytime we'd love to meet you God bless and uh, go RVing